Hey guys, this is week 79 on Real DV Watchers. This week I am reviewing Ultimate Avengers from 2006, the first one. And I, I don't have it on me because I watched it online, rewatched it online. And basically, this film, uh, I wanted to watch it because I wanted to see what the live action Avengers could be. I know it won't be exactly like this, but just you know, I, I want to see something Avenger ish. And it was pretty cool. For the second time around, I saw it when it first came out, but watching it again, uh, I like it. It's basically, it's, I think it's based off of the uh, the Ultimates comic book series, which is uh, under the Ultimates and Marvel property. It's basically just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not all big on Marvel stuff, but Ultimates is like... Like in the Ultimate Universe, they've retold a bunch of origins and stuff, but still keeping with the mainstream stuff. They just decide to do that, like the Ultimates. Like there's Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Fantastic Four, and the Ultimates, which are like the Avengers. And basically, in that in this movie, uh, it starts off in 1945, and Captain America shows him fighting aliens, and he gets frozen. And 60 years later, Shield comes and follows him out, want to re-engineer the Super Soldier formula to fight the, to fight uh the alien threat that is currently threatening Earth. But they figure that they're not gonna be able to uh get the formula up and running in time. So they pull together the uh they try to pull together heroes the other heroes from Earth to fight them, like Iron Man, Wasp Thor, Giant Man, previously Ant Man, uh, you know, they've got Captain America and Black Widow on the team. So they've got those, and they're just basically like fighting some aliens and shit. And it's fun. It, it's great fun. Um, it's got, a, it has, you know, there's a decent amount of characters in there. Uh, not what I want to see for the uh, live action one. Like the live action one, they're I think for, they're probably gonna end up facing the Hulk as the villain. I, I hope they don't do aliens for in 2012 for the for that Avengers film. I I, I just hope they don't go down the alien route because they're already taking quite a chance combining like the mystical Thor with the technological Iron Man with the sciency. Incredible Hulk and such. You know, they're, they're take which I, I think it's probably gonna end up working well under Joss Whedon's wing, but enough of that. This film, uh, yeah, th there's a lot of characters, but I mean, I think they're all explored upon really well, and they all find out Tony Stark's Iron Man. I don't know why that was relevant. Just to, just want to say it. Anyway, it, it was a fun film, and uh, definitely check it out if, if you're a Marvel fan. Uh, I'm just trying to watch more Marvel stuff and so I can know more of the characters, but check it out. I'm watching the second one right now, so I may do a review of it next week. Uh, catch you on the next one. Watch it for Fergus tomorrow. So see you on the next. See you next time.